Good evening WebOS enthusiasts. My name is Chris and I'm going to demonstrate upgrading a Sprint Pre Minus to WebOS 2.1. The first step is to get to the wiki page for WebOS internals for the WebOS 2 upgrade. Got a step by step here. And first step is to back up your device. So we're going to recommend using Save Restore app from WebOS Internals and I've already gone ahead and backed up all of my data off my pre. Second thing you're going to want to do is get a Linux environment set up, install MetaDoctor which includes installing Git, Java and some other things that you can find on the explanation page of MetaDoctor. Second thing you need to do is prepare your prompt Palm profile, which means getting rid of backups. So to do that, <coughs> bring up your backup app, switch it to off, and turn off and erase backup, the red button there. Alright, now that's done. Next step, run your device specific MetaDoctor script. I've actually already run these, the specific command for my Sprint Pre. Get to your MetaDoctor directory. Certain piece here is this make file. And there are some scripts that are specific to each carrier. Mine, of course, is going to be the Sprint. So from the MetaDoctor directory, you want to do a dot slash scripts. Meta Sprint. Running this command will basically download the three doctors that we need, grab the firmware from the Verizon Pre 2, and some other things and it'll basically build us a 2.1 WebOS doctor. And since I've already run that, I'm going to go ahead and find it. It's going to be in the meta doctor directory under build and then the pre plus and then you'll see this jar file here. So I'm just going to run that. I'll pick you, English, United States. We'll do next. Confirm English. Accept. Next. All right, now it says connect the phone. And the next button becomes ungrayed out, so we'll do next. And as you can see, now it's starting to flash. All right, we got to 100%. It says phone is now restarting, reset complete. And if we look at the phone, what do we have? Dun da da da, HP logo. The phone's done booting up now. Ta da. So now we're going to pick English, United States, and confirm. All right, guys, cross your fingers. All right, looks like we got an activation error. After a good two hours of being on tech support with Sprint last night, doing hard resets on the phone, nothing seemed to fix it. So I flashed back to 1.5. I got the phone activated again. Then I flashed one more time to 2.1. And as you can see, we've got an activated phone. Hip, hip, hooray. Okay, so the next 
step is to sign into the Palm profile, which I'll go ahead and do. We're going to accept the terms and conditions. Let's see. And we'll go ahead and sign into the profile. Let me type this in. All right, cross your fingers for me that this doesn't 999 my profile. All right, we're going to sign in. All right, it reboot. All right, it's done rebooting. And I think you can see just type up there. We're on the Sprint network. We're restoring applications. Okay, last step is to restore the Palm Build Info. And what, what I've got is I've got the Palm SDK installed on my Windows 7 machine. Just gonna run the, the commands from a command prompt on the Windows machine. Uh, the actual files, it's a, I've got a map drive to the Linux made a doctor directory. All right, so we'll run the command. That one's done. We'll grab the seven, second one. Do the file put. And now we reboot. There's actually one more very important step. Phone should be rebooting here now that we sent it that. The last important step is to enable GPS and as soon as the phone gets done rebooting, I'll show you how to do it. So what we need to do is go to location services. Oops. And we're going to want to enable GPS, turn on. All right. And we can ask to share it with websites. We need to go to preferences, and you see this locate me using, oops. We want to turn Google on so that Google Maps will work. Accept the terms of service. And our GPS should be good now. Here we are, Houston, Texas. Also down in the caveats is getting Flash installed. I'll leave that a, as a challenge for you. I couldn't get it to work yet. That'll be my next project tomorrow. So let's move on to step six. Donate to WebOS Internals. Link right there. And I guess that's going to just about do it for my demonstration of upgrading a Sprint Palm Pre to WebOS 2.1. Good luck, guys.